This guide is for people running bad update on their Xbox 360 without internet, like I am. So, I have the earliest Xbox known to man. No, it did not come with Uno. Anyways, um, because of that fact, it does not have a Wi-Fi chip in it. Therefore, you need to buy a separate accessory to get Wi-Fi on it, which costs like 40 fucking dollars. I'm not gonna buy that. Anywho, I, I dug, and I digged, and I, I found a way to get your covers on your games manually without downloading them, and I'll even prove to you that I didn't download them if I try, where's it, yeah, download cover, no network connection detected, please try again later. So I did not just download these, and I'm going to teach you how to do this as well. It is ideal to start this process while you're already in the Aurora menu booted into bad update and everything. Just because of the fact that you can remove your USB and put it back in and it will just be able to read it and won't shut down anything. I find that very handy. So I'm going to go ahead and throw our game on here and teach y'all how to do it. I'm going to say right now, this process is a little tedious and time consuming, but in my opinion, it is so worth it having all the covers for your games. Okay, and now that you can see, we have our, our coverless game here. And now that it's uh, now that it's been seen by Aurora and the data has been created, we can now bring our hard drive over to our computer. So I am personally using a two terabyte hard drive for this. I have an application called Aurora Asset Editor. This is required. So once you have this downloaded and open, um. What you want to do is go to this website, put it up on screen now. Once you're on this website, you'll be able to type in the name of any game or its title ID, if that's what you prefer. And you can just get its cover art or any title updates it has, if there are any. Um, this is entirely open source. So we'll go ahead and type in sleeping dogs. And there appears to be two of them for some reason. But we're just going to get the top one. And as you can see, sometimes it'll be a custom one. But if you look down here, you can see it'll say official or custom. And I want the official... Yes, this one. Now, this also has the title ID real right here, which I find uh, really handy because uh, the way you do this is you click on File, go to Load Asset File, go into your hard drive, and then you want to go to Apps, Aurora, data game data and then you'll see these numbers here before the underscore this is the title ID so you wanna find the title ID that matches your game so 535 let's see uh, yeah, 535 found it and now you want to click on GL just the the one that has GL because it'll bring you to the icon preview and then you can go to box art and cover you go edit select new cover go to where you downloaded your cover mine's right here put that there then you want to click on file again save box art cover asset and then, since the cover is the uh, last thing that you clicked on, it's going to put you back wherever your covers are. So you're going to have to navigate 
back to your hard drive, back to Aurora data, game data, and find the uh, the title ID again. And then this time, you want to put it in GC, game cover. So you want to replace this file. And now, that's it. You can go back to Aurora, and it'll have the cover. One thing I will note, when you plug your USB back in, it will take a little bit for it to register that it's been plugged back in, but it will happen eventually. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, we just did this whole process, but there's no cover. But we haven't pressed back to go into system and restart it yet. So let's restart. Booting back into Aurora. And there it is. Cover and everything. And yes, I did do this manually for all fucking 49 of my games. It took so long, but it's so worth it. And I'm pretty proud of this if I can find it. I made myself a Guitar Hero 6 cover. Because I found, well I didn't find, I just, I looked it up. But I got myself a copy of the uh, Guitar Hero 6 Warriors of Rock beta. So I went into Photoshop and I threw together this, uh, this little thing. I like it. I'm proud of it. Anyway, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this guide. I couldn't find any other guides like this out there. I had to find, I had to find out all of this by myself. Other than the fact that Aurora Asset Editor exists. I was able to find that on forum sites of course. But I could not find anywhere like an actual tutorial or guide on how to get the game covers into Aurora. And have them actually show up. I did at least three hours of troubleshooting before I actually had a process of doing the thing. And... It, it definitely paid off. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this isn't usually the kind of videos I make, but I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.